Back to fire the engines and the cars are rolling around. Two and a half miles slide to a racetrack. Pocono Raceway, a very, very tricky racetrack. Because of no qualifying yesterday, the field is set by owner's points, and that means that Justin Lawson will start on the inside of row number one. Justin Lawson is currently leading the point stands. Parker Fetterman second in the points. Well, we had inclement weather yesterday, obviously, to halt all track activity. What a beautiful day today. I'm uh, just today. perfect. Looking at about 80 degrees today and just a slight breeze and partly cloudy skies. You see the sun being down on the racetrack now. Take a look at the track map for this as we talk about how difficult it is. And three very distinctly different ones. Yeah, completely different. You can see all the banking is different. 14 degrees out in turn one. Uh, eight degrees in the tunnel and six degrees in the very, very flat turn three. But look at that long truck straightaway. 3,740 feet speeds upwards of 200 miles an hour as they enter turn number one. And then they stand on a glitch. Years past, as Wendy mentioned, they used to shift here. These straightaways were so long and the corners so tight, they would shift. Our the rematch officials disallowed shifting totally. So they will have to actually run in high gear all the way around here. So it took a lot of the rear end gear ratio out. So that's going to really be a little bit harder on the brakes now. They're not going to have the engine to help slow the cars down. You see the starting grid rolling across the top of the screen again. Because no qualifying yesterday because of the rain, that means that they were set by owner points. So you will see where your favorite driver will start on the top of the screen. Riding along with one car today will be Tim George Jr. carrying the Ruby Tuesday on board. That's the number two. And he will start in the 20th, or excuse me, the 10th spot. So he'll have to make his way up to the front from starting in the 10th spot. That's one of the team heavy sharp cars. Four cars in the field, including our pole center, Justin Long. Let's go back to Pit Road and Jim Trejo. Well, the driver that starts outside row one is Matt Merrill with Wintron Racing. By setting up on owner's points, this young man comes in here for the first time in Pocono with the team that has won twice with James Busher. Has finished top 10 in Daytona with Kelly Byers, or Calladay, excuse me. Matt Merrill's done his part as well. As the third driver now with his team, he's finished no worse than 11. His first laps on this racetrack, he couldn't believe how big Pocono was. How big was it? Well, it didn't make take long for him to adjust. He is the fifth quickest car in practice. It was only about an hour long, a little less this morning. So Matt Merrill got me very quickly. Wintron Racing has great equipment. We'll see what he does from outside row one. Wendy? Thanks, Jeff. Bobby Gearhart started his racing career here 25 years ago. He called this his hometown track. Yet, Bobby Gearhart has yet to win at Pocono Raceway. His best finish has been third. He's starting deep in the field, 30th today, because he's only raced a total Talladega with us this year in the Arco Max Series. Bobby Gearhart just came over the scanner and said, boys, we really have to be on our toes. Asked his spotter to be uh, his eyes up there. He's going to have a tough time when the green flag drops racing through this field. Rick? Well, thank you, Wendy. I'll tell you what, this is an impressive field, too. We've got Joey Logano running his first laps competitively at Pocono, and he will start just behind Matt Merrill in that number 25. Kyle Martell. 
you see the 0 4 into the 35 as well. And Chase Patty only in the 0 4, Tom Burning in the 35. We had completed one lap. And this incident took place coming out of turn two. So our first caution has blown here at Pocono Speedway. We'll be right back. Back into the garage, not the way he wanted his day to end. 